Velasquez made his Major League debut earlier this month and appeared in his ninth game on Tuesday when he replaced Joey Wendell at third base in the eighth inning. A little while ago, our Meredith Morakovic caught up with the youngster. Thanks, Chris. Andrew, born in the Bronx, went to Fordham Prep. Were you a Yankees fan growing up? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was kind of born into it. Uh, my parents were both Yankees fans, so um, everybody I grew up with for the most part, except for maybe a couple odd jobs. But uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was growing up for sure. Does this make it awkward now wearing a Rays hat? You see the Yankees over there, or is it a fun experience to get to play the Yankees? No, the Rays pay the bills, so I'm obviously a Rays fan now. But uh, it's it's very fun, like being able to be out here and compete against them. You know, um, I know it's it's crazy for my parents. They always say, um, you know, seeing me out here competing against the Yankees for them has got to be crazy. Um, but I think I've done a good job, kind of separating, you know, work from being a fan so yeah. you've converted your family now though right oh <laughs> uh, yeah for the most part i mean they stuck in their ways a little bit so i can't blame them but uh yeah hopefully we'll change them in, in due time what was your first memory of playing baseball in the bronx um man my first memory i have pictures of me in uh like a yankees uniform that i got for christmas when i was like probably seven years old but uh my first word was actually ball. I, I can probably confirm that with my parents, but that's that's what they've told me my whole life growing up. So that's the earliest is as soon as I could speak. Yeah. Would you go to the old Yankee Stadium? Uh, yeah, I mean, I actually still pass by Yankee Stadium all the time. I, when I go to pick up the guy that I train with, um, he lives over there, so I always swing by and swing by the stadium. So it's, it's kind of like a little motivation when I, I'm on my way to work. So. Do you feel like growing up in that area shaped you a little bit? Uh, yeah, I think I played with a little chip on my shoulder just because of the environment where I grew up. But uh, I, I think I use it to my benefit, especially on the field, that competitive nature. But uh, yeah, for sure, got a chip on my shoulder for that. How would you describe your game? Um, I'm aggressive. I'm not afraid to uh, make mistakes. Um, I use my speed a lot. So on offense and defense, whether it be range in the infield or range in the outfield or stealing bases. So... Um, my legs are my most important part, so I got to make sure those are those are good to go. It seems as though the, the consensus among people in the Rays organization is that maybe you were a little undervalued with the Diamondbacks. They brought you over here, you had a pretty solid season. What do you think stood out about your season so far? Uh, just uh, mentally um, maturing as a player. I think that shows in like stolen stolen bases and like how little I've been caught stealing. That's just the, you know maturing and understanding the game and being a student of the game every day. So um, I'm constantly asking questions. I'm always watching the game, um, trying to get that little edge. You know, it's like a little chess match out there. But uh, just trying to mature as a player. I mean, everybody here has talent. Everybody here is a great baseball player. So it's what's going to make that difference to get you in the lineup every day or to get you to help your team to win every day. September 2nd, that was a big day for you. Big day, for big day. First day in the big leagues, yeah. Take me back to when you received the phone call and they told you you were heading up to the big leagues. Uh, it was, I actually missed the first call because it was about like uh, 1.32 in the morning. So the manager had called me um, and I checked my phone and I, I saw a text from him saying, you know, call me ASAP. I'm like, oh my God, this is either great news or terrible news. So, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I had a, a buddy actually call me right away. Like as I was reading the text message, he said, hey, um, Jared, the AAA manager, he's, he's looking for you. I think you're going to the big leagues. I said, Man, hey, don't. don't play around like that <laughs> so I called him up he gave me the good news and uh, I actually got like half hour sleep before I went to Cleveland and met the team so I've never had so much energy on so little sleep before in my life before I let you go I know some of your family members actually watch the yes network so anything you'd like to say to some of the people at home um, no, thanks for the support, and it, it, I didn't do it by myself. You know, it was a lot of moving parts and getting me here, and it's, you know, I hope this is just the beginning, so thank you for everybody who's supporting.